Good. Welcome. Today I have just a little poem to start with by Thomas Merton, who was a Trappist monk um, born in um, 1915 and died in, in the 60s. Just someone special. There we go. This is by Thomas Merton. Then it was as if I suddenly saw the secret beauty of their hearts, the depths of their hearts where neither sin nor desire can reach, the core of their reality, the person that each one is in God's eyes. If only they could see themselves as they really are. If only we could see each other that way. There would be no more need for war or hatred or cruelty or greed. I suppose then the big problem would be that we would fall down and worship each other. That's Thomas Merton. So let's find a comfortable seat and bring our hands to heart center and inhale and exhale. We are grateful. And then allowing our hands to rest at our sides or in our laps. We find our place right here, right now, in this moment. Noticing the body and allowing it to relax. And being aware of the body. I know that I am not the body. but I'm aware of it. And I can allow it to relax in this moment. And then noticing our breath. Breathing in. And breathing out. And finding this breath right here, right now, this moment. And noticing the breath. I know I'm not the breath. but I can allow it to deepen and slow. Right here, right now, at this moment. And then noticing the mind. I can see the thoughts passing by like clouds. I can notice them and let them drift on by. Noticing those floating thoughts passing by. I know I'm not the thought. And I can allow them just to pass on by. I'm noticing right now, right here, right now, in this moment. And 
and noticing the senses, hearing, touch, taste, smell, sight. Noticing the senses. I know I am not the senses. And I can just notice them without them taking control of my attention and let, let them pass on by like the thoughts. Right here, right now, in this moment. And then noticing any tension in the body. I can allow that to release and relax. Noticing any worries or cares or any feelings I've been holding on to. I can allow them to be comforted in this moment as I notice them. And as I notice them, I know that I'm not tension. I am not feeling right here and right now, I'm just aware of all of this. Now I can bring my attention to my heart. And I can notice from the heart. And as I notice from the heart, I can see that I'm surrounded, surrounded by a joyous well-being of love. Right here, right now, in this moment. And that it encompasses all of these parts, the body, the breath, the mind the thoughts, the senses, any tension or worries or feelings, that noticing from the heart can hold all of them right here, right now in this moment, and yet remain as seeing from the heart. And a stillness pours out of me and within me and through me. And that stillness is embodied in love. Right here, right now, this moment, and feel that surrounding of love in which we live and move and have our being, encircling us and within us and all around us.
we can bring to mind now some being that embodies love for us. Could be a teacher. It really could be anyone at all. Because like that poem said, that love pours out from the center of each of us. Because it's always here. Could be a mentor, a benefactor, a loved one. Could be a beloved pet or a tree. Could be a teacher who gave us a hard teaching, a difficult teacher in our lives. To someone who has brought that love through to and surrounding us. Could be the divine. And of course, all love is divine. So this love pours through us, through our hearts. And as we allow that love to fill us up and overflow, and then as we notice and are aware from our hearts, be aware now of a loved one that you would like to, to bless. Some dear one, picture them here. And then we'll let that love simply pour through us like it always is to this loved one. And I'm going to use these words of compassion, but you may use your own ones that resonate with you. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be joyful. May you be free. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be joyful. May you be free. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be joyful. May you be free. And as they overflow with that love, they mirror it back to us, reflecting it back. May we be happy. May we be healthy. May we be joyful. May we be free. May we be happy. May we be healthy. May we be joyful. May we be free. And then right here, right now, that love overflows, pours out from our loving heart, from our awareness, from our center, from who we really are. And picture now some being that you don't really know that well. Noticing them and allowing that love to pour through you to this being that you don't even know very well. Could be someone that you see occasionally or someone that you've only seen once. Could be a stray dog or cat, animal, someone you saw in the news. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be joyful. 
may you be free. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be joyful. May you be free. Be happy, be healthy, be joyful, be free. And then right here, right now, that love fills us up, overflows. Seeing again with the eyes of the heart, seeing ourselves, seeing our loved ones, seeing this being that we don't know that well. And now seeing someone who we've had a hard time with this week. And deep down in their core, they are this love as well. And when we see with the eyes of the heart, we can see them as that love. And allowing this love to flow through us to this one who we've had a hard time with, or perhaps they've had a hard time with us. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be joyful. May you be free. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be joyful. May you be free. And allow that love to surround this being in the overflow to any situations in their life. May you be happy, may you be healthy, may you be joyful, may you be free. And then I invite you now to bring to mind some beings that really need a blessing this week. Some people or individual, maybe a community, maybe a family group, maybe a nation. You get a feeling for these beings and seeing them as well with the eyes of the heart, the eyes of love, noticing from the heart. And seeing these words as being fulfilled in their lives. Maybe they're not the perfect words, but the love is. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be joyful. May you be free. May you be happy. May you be healthy. 
May you be joyful. May you be free. And allowing that love to pour through us to them. These beings that really need a blessing this week. Let's seek to include instead of exclude. You can think of other beings that need a blessing. Allow that blessing to pour out to them. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be joyful. May you be free. Right here, right now. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be joyful. May you be free. And then in that same spirit, let's open up our palms. You picture now your own loved ones. Maybe they're taking our hands. That feels good. You're joining us. And we let that love pour through us to them. May you be happy. May you be healthy, may you be joyful, may you be free. Your family members, your dear friends, coworkers, may you be happy. May you be healthy, may you be joyful, may you be free. And the love overflows and they join in with us. May we be happy. May we be healthy. May we be joyful. May we be free. May we be happy. May we be healthy. May we be joyful. May we be free. And each one of these reaches out to others that they know. Maybe some who are dying, maybe some who are just being born, maybe some who are homeless, maybe some who are, have plenty. But all are in need of love, and all of them are that love. It's here within each of us. We reach out to others, surrounding them with this love. And in that spirit of including instead of excluding, may we be happy. May we be healthy. May we be joyful. May we be free. May we be happy. May we be healthy, may we be joyful, may we be free. Each one reaches out to more beings that they know and on and on until the whole earth is pouring forth this love. May we be happy, may we be healthy, May we be joyful, may we be free. Be happy, be healthy, be joyful, be free.
And then we extend that out again. Reach out to all the animals of the earth and the fish and the birds and all the little animals in the soil and of the earth. All the creatures, microbes from microbe to blue whale. May we be happy. May we be healthy. May we be joyful. May we be free. May we be happy. May we be healthy. May we be joyful. May we be free right here, right now, in this moment. Sending out that love with all the beings and to all the beings, that love that's not different than who we really are. May we be happy. May we be healthy. May we be joyful. May we be free. And including all the plant life and all the growing things of the earth. And the wind and the water. And the land itself. And the sky. And the earth itself. May we be happy. May we be healthy. May we be joyful, may we be free. May we be happy, may we be healthy, may we be joyful, may we be free. And right here, right now in this breath, Knowing that any time during the week, we can come back to this breath. Any time during the week when we are noticing, which is always, we can notice from the heart and see others as the love that we are. That love that surrounds us always in which we live and move and have our being. And for that love, there's overflowing gratefulness. Right here, right now, in this breath. And bringing hands to heart center, you can inhale and exhale and inhale. We are grateful. I'm grateful for you. Thank you for joining me. Hi, time for some nice Qigong. So let's warm up. Let's do a little shake. A little shake around. Feels good. Just letting all the lymph nodes move around. I know we're all drinking lots of water because it's hot. So continue that and then bring arms up. We'll do our little shake and keep feet on the ground. I wasn't doing that, but do that. And just let the shake come from the knees, side to side, good. And let it go down and then we'll spin. 
Letting the hand take you right in the small of the back. Good, good, good. Knocking on the door like here. And they hit the adrenals. Good, good little warm up. Side to side and then come back to center. Good. Slowing down. Right to center. And inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And reaching arms up to the sky. And exhaling, lift to heart center. And inhaling. Flipping the palms, reaching up. Bringing it to heart center. One more. And bring it to heart center. We are grateful. Feeling that gratefulness flowing through and opening up palms. Good. And now we're going to gather up the chi, bringing it up the central meridian, flipping at the heart and reach to the sky and let it rain down. So we need a little, to be little fountains here, we're letting that chi just come through our central meridians up, flip, reach the sky and rain down. We'll bring a rain of blessing to the earth. Good, blessing the earth. Great, a rain of love and blessing and healing. Good. Two more. And one more. Rain it down. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And coming to center, feeling our feet on the earth. We will let our palms just float up like there's two big helium balloons under and now we're let we're pushing those balloons back down and then let them float up holding that chi and then let them float down good twice more like that we're opening the door to our practice today opening the door and one more Float them down, good. And then bring the left arm up and bend the right. So side to side, and maybe getting a little bit of a figure eight motion in your hips. Around and around, good. As we shift from one side to the other, great, great. Balancing both sides of the body here. Up. Good. And now this time that left pinky is going to lead as we open up the shoulder. Good. All the way back. And then bringing that palm up, the other palm floats up with it. And then this one comes down. And other side, right side. Reaching back, opening up the shoulder to the side. And then as, as it floats up, the other palm floats up with it. And then down, we'll do that once more on each side. Reaching through, Huan Yin draws a rainbow. And then it comes up and floats down. And reaching and drawing that rainbow. Go ahead. Letting it float up and float down. Good. And then we'll step wide and inhale. Exhale, hugging the chi. Just like we're hugging a big tree trunk. Inhale. And exhale, hug. And if possible, keep those elbows up. Inhale. And exhale. One more. And hug that chi and hold, good. And then you're gonna bring right hand on top, left hand on the bottom, over to the side. Hold, flip it. Right hand swipes the knees, left hand 
pushes, pushes the chi across the body over to this side. And we're clearing the central meridians of our body, we're letting anything that's that's stuck and stagnant flow, going side to side like this, flowing. Good. Flow. So Qigong is kind of awesome because it's healing our own system and going out and healing the earth too. Good. Sending that healing energy to this little body that we own, but also to the big body of the earth. Good. One more time over. Coming back to center. Inhale. Dropping the chi down, the central meridian, all the way down. Good. We're going to let the earth energy fill up our palms. Flip the hands, reaching up. And dropping down. Good, good, good. Again, earth energy filling up, flip, reach, drop down the central meridian. Beautiful. Twice more, inhaling and exhale, letting anything recycle in the earth. Good, inhale. Exhale, anything that's not serving can recycle in the air. Beautiful, beautiful. Good. Stepping wide. We'll inhale. Bring the left hand on top, right hand on the bottom, and we'll hug the moon. Embracing that moon. Reaching open arms, other side. Embracing the moon on the other side. Good. And as you can tell, your hands, so this is great for honoring the moon and the cycles of life, but also the heart and the lungs and all the lower, uh, all those beautiful inner organs are kind of getting a massage here as we move from side to side. Good, good, good. And balancing them. Heart and the lungs, the spleen, the liver, the stomach. All those beautiful organs, good. One more each side. And as we come right here, we're gonna slide the hands past each other, reach up with the right, left hand goes down, taming the wild horse's mane. Back to center. And the left hand goes up, the right hand goes down. Tame that wild horse's mane. And over. And, you know, that could be the emotions. It could be the thoughts, the busy thoughts. It could just be a nice stretch, whatever you want it to be. And one more each side. Back to center, drop the chi. Beautiful, beautiful, good. Opening up palms to the front, inhale. And exhale, we're gonna do the archers. So we're gonna find our feet on the ground, sink down a little bit, maybe further if, if you're able, but just a little is, is all that's necessary. Then bring that left knee up and step wide. Then reach up with this down. And as you do, get ready to be an archer. You're pulling back with that right hand. Your left hand is like the arrow or the sights of the, of the arrow. Good. And then let it go and come back. Good. Sit down, step over, up down and getting that bow and arrow ready looking through the sights let it go sink step over up down get that arrow ready one more on the other side sink step 
community. And beautiful. Back to center. Inhale. And exhale. Okay, great, great. And now let's bring our hands out in front. And then this hand's get the right hand's up, the left hand's down, and come up on toes. And then again, so it's kind of a combination of hugging the chi and then sort of taming the wild horse's mane, but kind of reaching heaven and earth, reaching to heaven and earth. Oh, you can't see my hand there. And then reaching to heaven and earth. Good. So the palms are flat, reaching up and down. Come up on the toes. Beautiful. Reach. Good. Balancing the sides of the body. Good. Reach up. One more each side. And then let's step wide, reach out in front and grab that chi and then bring it in. And you can squat if it feels good. If not, you can stay up, all right? And then we're gonna take the left hand and punch it out and then turn that into peace. And back down, so it's kind of like punch and then turn it into peace. This one's actually a Tai Chi move. And then punch, and turn it into peace. It's beautiful. So anything, if you have a lot of energy someday, this is a great move. Just to let it go and turn it into peace. And calm. One more. Good. And we turn it so much into peace and calm that we take that left hand, bring it across the body as a as and, and look at your palm here. And then we're going to open up that shoulder, turning to your left, all the way as far as you can go, opening up the shoulder. Eyes are on the palm. And then coming back again towards the center. You notice that the whole earth, the whole busy, whatever's going on can be going by, but we are the calm at the center, reaching out for that one thing. Pull it in. And then the right hand comes across the body. Look at that palm. Bring it towards the right. Go as far as you can. Continue to look at the palm. Open up the shoulder. Come back to center. You could be in Times Square, but you are the calm at the center right here, looking at that palm. Reach out for the one thing. Bring it back. One more each side. Over. The center. Reach. And across. You tell me what that one thing is that you reach out for. out for the one thing. Coming back to center, inhale, dropping the chi, stepping forward with the left leg, right leg back, we'll exhale forward, inhale back, exhaling and inhaling. It's our prayer wheel as we exhale and inhale. You can pray for certain situations or certain individuals, saying their name, or just bringing in that beauty and love, letting go of anything that's not serving. One more on this side. And stepping forward with the other leg, exhale and inhale. Exhale. And inhale, making a big prayer wheel here. Exhaling, breathing out the love. So 
four. And one more. Coming back to center, we're going to take that chi we've been building up. And just play with it like a lion playing with a ball. And if you can't feel it, then rub your hands together and then bring them apart. Good, good. good. Maybe let it get a little bigger. Good. And we're going to bring it to a part of our body that really needs a blessing today. It might be your feet, your knees, your shoulders. It's a wave out there. And or bring it to your tinnitus ears. <laughs> If you have some, bring it in your ears, wherever you need it. Good, it could be lungs, wherever that is. And then we're all gonna join together and swoosh it through our brains here. Swoosh and swoosh and swoosh. Good, and then down the back side, all the way down and up the front. And down the back and up the front and you don't need to squat down like that if it doesn't feel good and if you do keep your back extended exhale you can just stand up and do it like this if that feels better so we're coming down and down breathing breathing letting the chi around our whole bodies, bringing healing to the whole body. Good. One more. And then drop the hands to heart center with the palms um, towards the ground. Flip them, bring them back down the outside. Good. Up, up, up. Great. And then stepping together. Flipping the palms right at the lower dantian, which is between the belly button and the pubic bow. And we'll inhale and exhale, bringing the hand down the central meridian. Flipping the palm, inhale and exhale. And switch. One more. And just like you were holding a little cup of chi, we're going to bring it up to our heart center, and down, and up a little bit above the heart, and down, up to the throat, and down, good, up to the forehead. And up over the head and let it flow down and one hand goes on top of the lower dantian the lower energy center there and up over that inhale and exhale sway in the wind just like a bamboo always comes back to the center no matter what is troubling us or blessing us this week, we can always come right back to the center. It's always here for us. One more breath. Good, and then inhaling, bringing hands to heart center. We are grateful. I am grateful for you. Thank you for joining me for Qigong. Very beautiful.